Welcome back to the shoot around. The Miami Heat beat the Los Angeles Lakers a little shorthanded without Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, THT, and whatever, but they beat them 110 to 104. And in that game, although the Heat had some rough stretches, they ended up ultimately pulling it out. They did lose Victor Oladipo to an injury. Ariel, what are your thoughts on what this team might look like without Victor Oladipo once again? I mean, I think we've seen what they look like without Victor Oladipo, right? I think um, the addition of Trevor Ariza makes them Uh, gives them more optionality and more switchability on defense. So that's something to hang your hat on a little bit. But I think right now, um, going into the stretch run of the season, you can't really count on what the situation is with Victor Oladipo. When Eric Spolster was asked directly yesterday by Barry Jackson, if Oladipo was going to play again this season, he basically declined to answer directly and said that uh, he has no update at this point. So I don't think it's fair for any of us to speculate the Oladipo thing. If he comes back, that'd be great. If not, It is what it is. You have to just make do. The Heat have a really tough stretch coming up, and they need to win some games. Yeah, definitely. Like, this is – it is go time. It really is. Um, So, with all that said, they are playing against the Portland Trailblazers tonight, a late game. It's at 10 p.m. on a Sunday. I do not know why. But how are we – how are the Heat winning this game? Um, The Blazers are a really good three-point shooting team. They're second in the league in three-point field uh, field goals made. And they're a top five offensive rebounding team. So while they're just an average rebounding team overall, they attack the offensive glass. Ennis Cantor gives the Heat fits every time they play him. So if I'm the Heat, uh, you know, really focus on the defensive boards. If you can take care of that, then you eliminate some of the second chance three-point opportunities for the Blazers and you give yourself uh, a good chance to win the game. Yeah, there. I mean, you saw Ennis Cantor last night, 24 points, 30 rebounds. Do not let this game be one in the paint because, I mean, the guards can also kill you, at least make it a one-dimensional offense for their team. Um, they're not good defensively. We didn't have Jimmy last time. I expect the Heat to just get Ennis Cantor in foul trouble, being completely honest. I think that's probably the easiest way to go about this. He's not quick enough to guard Bam. He's not strong enough to stop Jimmy at the rim. I think that's the way that the Heat win this game. We'll see. I think the, the Trailblazers are coming off a of back-to-back. So this is, technically speaking, a really good opportunity for the Heat to get a win. Hopefully they do. Hopefully Victor Oladipo is able to be okay, and that's it. Go Heat.